How's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and we're, we're, jump we're jumping in with another Overwatch 2 coaching video here today. Clay looking at a gold 3 Baptiste who was looking to get into diamond. I'm sat here editing this video at like 3 in the morning, only to realize that the game audio for this entire thing is a bit too loud, and you can't hear me at some stages, which I humbly apologize for. Next video will be better. I'm, s I'm, I'm sorry. Everyone say hello to little Uzi Vert. As I said already, playing Baptiste. If you want to submit your own gameplay to be coached, there's a Google form in the description. We're also pushing for 400 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy the videos. But anyway, let's get on into it. So we're playing Baptiste. What I want to see as Baptiste is I want to see a good usage of Immortality Field. Using your burst heal to get a uh, you or a team out of a bad position. We're in goal, so, you know, we're going to see a few mistakes here. Probably both game sense wise and accuracy were was team camp wise we're playing road dog it's fine he's a good bullet sponge he's easier to hit with baptiste junkrat kiriko Cass, not bad not bad we can always pair up the high noon with our window ideally i'd like you to be back here maybe playing this corner but never so up here but you know you might move back as the game starts let's gonna see if we know the baptiste heal shoot combo is there any sign of that can you open so they're playing tracer which can be kind of bad for us uh, can kind of peek around the side and get a pick on us Unfortunate, unfortunate that our Junkrat did seem to just get melted there. A bit late on the immortality field there. Um, we probably should have thrown that at Roadhog as soon as he got hooked. Um, yeah, we just pull out. Ooh, ooh, that was that was bad. Oh, some hook distance. Holy shit, that was unfortunate. Uh, we unfortunately our entire team got wiped there in a matter of seconds. So what happens here is Junkrat gets sniped. And then Roadhog hooks in. Just a ton of damage comes his way, and just as he dies, our little heal orb just just about gets there. So Roadhog at the moment goes from pretty much full. Um, so he's on fire, and then Tracer shoots at him. He goes from full. I think Ash shoots him in the head, and he instantly goes down. And then as soon as he goes down, then the immortality field comes out. Um, I think maybe we probably should have thrown that um, as soon as we we seen this sort of thing. We're, we're all back here. We, we know we're all back here. And Roadhog's in front. We probably should have thrown it now. It would have given him enough time to probably do a bunch of damage and probably get himself out and pop his own healing. But unfortunately, that's not what happens. And we end up dying. And then they all just steamroll in and Roadhog gets... A very, very long hook on you, I will say. Like, that is length, man. That must be at his max range. Yeah, yeah, he pretty much gets you at his max range. So coming back, I'm going to assume we don't manage to touch point. Even if we do, we're probably not going to get it. What we want to do now is kind of peek, play corners. We don't want to stand out in the open. That Ash still seems to have pretty good aim. Um, a great pick on Roadhog. And the team, he's all kind of just looking on the It's great. Um, this Ash seems to have good aim so we kind of want to play as sort of a group to kind of combat the tracer and um, we also want to be playing the corners you know we do splash we do splash healing so we can just we can chill our corners and um, it's very easy we don't want to be in like this on our like ash because especially if we're jumping if we're jumping ash will look at us and just take bang bang we're, we're using our window not horrible not a horrible case here i actually do like this um Managed to get a kill on Roadhog. We just kind of want to focus now on keeping keeping Roadhog alive. It was a nice it was a nice attempt to kind of keep ourselves alive. But let's go back there a second. If we had just been that much bit faster, if we had been a bit faster, we would have seen Roadhog get hooked and immediately thrown. I think maybe if we did have a bit of faster reaction speed, we could have gotten him. Um, but then we, we throw it down to try and save ourselves. It wasn't really going to get us anywhere. It was just kind of a last ditch effort. So what I, I think is mainly the problem so far is just the positioning. We're kind of playing a little too close um, up front. Um, where our reaction time for our immortality field isn't the greatest. This distance I like. It allows you to st kind of stay back shoot while also giving uh, a good range for heals. Uh, your heat's not going to be too delayed getting there. 
We seem to be doing all all right uh, aim wise, which is which is good to see. Lovely pick on, on Tracer. Right, we want to be looking out for our Roadhog getting hooked. This is the main thing. We don't want our Roadhog getting hooked. And if he does get hooked, we want to be able to save him. Because if we if we lose our Roadhog, we're most likely gonna lose the team fight. Right. Okay, okay. We're lucky that the, the enemy team managed to back off there. That's fine. We should be playing high ground here, though. We should be sort of up on the sort of. Oh, we're going in with. Right. Let's go back. So, playing here isn't horrible, right? We're using this corner really well. Roadhog's gonna have a hard time. You know, get a pick on us. Where ideally I would want you is maybe here. Then you can see everyone that's down here and here. And it makes just healing for you a lot easier. Shooting your heal grenades down into people is a lot easier than standing on their level. Also here it would make you a lot, you know, less of a target for the likes of Tracer who might just swoop around here. Granted, you know, there's always a chance you should come up here and, and, and nab you, but it just makes healing for you a lot easier so then the enemy team back off they don't manage to get a kill on our roadhog our tracer is in the back line Boom bits um we kind of walk up here we see our tracer dies and then we get to this point and we put up our uh, our matrix um we get the kill on roadhog then the rest of the enemy team just kind of sits here hides around the corner tracer goes for a flank what we, we should have done we should have waited to use this we didn't really need to use this here we probably could have saved till they pushed up here you know because if they push up here they have a lot less cover option they have here and here but if you popped it back here when they push up in if they're all standing here they're not going to want to abandon the payload it also gives your junk rat a lot more of a good option to kind of just down this way and it also gives you guys to be able to shoot here and here you know it wasn't a horrible ult usage but we we might need it um uh, we don't manage to get any more sort of value off it uh like hiroko gets domed but the enemy cast this might not be good to be fair though you are you are holding yourself really well and you're doing really well here right and the enemy team are pushing it we want to back up we don't need to be up so close. We don't want to be in front of these guys. We don't want to... Oh my god, we are so lucky there. We are actually... We are so lucky to get out alive. A Roadhog is dead. Yeah, we just... We just don't... We don't want to go away. We just want to come back. What we should have done here was been... When when this happened and Roadhog and I heard that Kira go old go off. And you walk out in front of the enemy team. You should have been done. You should have been dead. Luckily, you get your immortality feel down. Um, pass goes. And you just... I don't even think he manages to shoot at you. No, their Roadhog just about saves you. Now, could you imagine if we had Matrix for here? If we managed to sort of flop down here, keep Roadhog alive. Drunkraft firing his bombs out through. You know, using the cover we have here. We probably could have 100% kept him alive there. You know, amplify your healing, it amplified Kiriko's healing. Oh, what am I doing? And Kiriko's here trying to save him. We're kind of, we're kind of off here. We kind of get blasted off and then we kind of just, well, so we, could, we should probably should have stayed in this fight. Obviously not the front line, but even here. We may have, might have gotten a shot to kind of push back in if we kept Roadhog alive. And again, if we had Matrix here, we could have 100% kept him alive here. But unfortunately, Roadhog gets jumped by the entire enemy team. Um... And we just get pushed all the way back. And they take the next point. Our junk rat's going in with fire. It gets absolutely annihilated by the enemy Roadhog. Where junk rat is right now? Or or even up here? I want you up here. I want you on high ground. It makes your healing so much more easier to do if you were playing high ground about these. Because if you're here, you're trying to hit these these shots. Direct impacts. We we're trying to hit the ground. It, it's a lot easier if you're stood here. It's a lot easier to heal this road if you're stood up on this high ground. So I want to see you play the high ground a little more. You can't just nail him damage into this little hog. We didn't need to use that there. 
Um, we were kind of fine. Like, if we had it here to keep... Okay, that, that's a fine you Oh, no. I was gonna say, that was a really... That was actually a good use of an immortality field. And your, your window. Poor Roadhog. No. Oh, jeez. Where is he? Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. No. We're gonna kill him more. From Trump Rex's lava bombs. Yeah, we wanna use this cover. Even the high ground. We wanna get up on that high ground. Nice use to keep them quite alive there. See, the likes of this, and we start shooting, and we miss a good few of them shots before one manages to get her. If this tracer was any better, he would have left Roadhog alone and just killed our Kiriko. If we were here, it would have been a lot easier to heal Kiriko, and it would also be a lot easier to heal our team in general. Who's gonna deal with us? If we're here, who's gonna deal with us? And, and Tracer just isn't doing really anything in the backline there. Oh, you got so lucky! Oh my god, you are getting off so lucky in this game. I want to see you get on high ground. You, you have barely really played high ground at all this game. I think it would be a lot more beneficial to you to be playing high ground. Alright, we're matrixing. There's not really anyone here. Hog is already dead. And then we walk up. Uh, we... There's no one here. Like, you can't see Moira. You can't see Sojourn. You can't see Cass. There's no one... We should, probably should not have thrown that up here. And I seen that our Roadhog switches to Melga. And he gets a pick on our cast. So now they're about to be up five. You know, before. Um, they, they already have three here. One of them is a Melga. And we're now down two DPS. So if we were playing high ground here. We'd be one out of Melga's way. We don't want to be anywhere near Melga. Um, and now they're about to push in on us, they get the kill on us, all really unfortunate. Do you manage to get a kill on Melga? Oh, how we managed to get a kill on Melga, but uh, we actually might hold this. Oh more, just doesn't touch point again. Oh. Alright, that was extremely lucky. I was really lucky that you guys managed to get the kill on Melga. Um, I could have gone horrible. The only real main things I'm seeing as of now is sort of just your you're not really using high ground to your advantage. Um and you're getting out a lot on sort of the enemy's bad target awareness and the enemy's uh poor aim and stuff like that. Once you get into higher ranks, Batiz is not gonna be able to chill just in the back like here he's not gonna, he's gonna have to be back here he's gonna be here he's gonna have to even maybe be here and especially at this last point here is a great spot here is a great spot you get such a view of everything and it just makes everything so much more to, easier to heal and it makes people makes you harder to hit yourself like that's why he has those jump boots so he can jump to high ground and just shoot down into his team and get that splash healing also, uh, what you can do for like sort of uh, a combo with Baptiste is shoot, shoot, heal. Um, it actually, I think, is the best combo where you fire off three rounds, fire off three rounds, shoot ground, heal, up, three rounds, three rounds, shoot the ground. It's what I use when I play Baptiste um, and it works quite well. Don't forget the top roof can be quite risky, um, especially if they have a will. But right now, we're playing attack. It's a different story. We're going to be playing, looking out. Where's our tank? Oh, our, our tank's just going in. Okay. It's fine. Nice, keeping the tank alive. I was gonna say maybe we could have saved that for a little bit, but we did manage to keep Jungle Point alive. Um, we're down to DPS though, we kinda wanna pull out. We, we, we don't wanna be here. I'm trying to fight a 1v, 1v1 with a, a Hanzo who has it. Zen Orb on him, it's going to be quite difficult. 
I do like playing the corner though. Playing this corner is really good. Our Junker Queen is going in. We want to keep out an eye on her. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oh, unfortunate that two of our DPS is getting mowed down again. And we kind of overextend trying to push on. Where? Oh. Uh, and we try to kind of push in with Sojourn. While our Moira and our Junker Queen go this way. What? Damn. What, what is going on? on here oh my uh, so i did see our dps left there for a second probably just quick disconnect to go back resetting the stats good pick on good pick um, um i get maybe the reasoning for wanting to do that uh we'll just use that we'll, we'll keep my bay uh, Oh, all right. That could have been horribly. Yeah, I get why you sort of used your your ult there. Maybe just as an incentive to keep him off point as a window facing down their chokehold. Um, so not horrible. All right, so we're just kind of we sat on the payload there for quite some time. Um, and now we're actually pushing up the enemy team. We've actually gotten back. Dragons are coming in. Lift up down immortality. Who you didn't know where they were coming from. We just kind of wanted to make sure they where they were safe. I don't mind that. We're on a risk now though. Um, but I'm going to assume you guys keep the momentum going and just steamroll this. They're kind of just scrambled all over the place and not really playing any of the sort of counter you guys. Um, I, I always say if you're playing against Baptiste, just play hit scan. You'll make short work of uh, Immortality Field and him, especially when he's jumping. Um, I do think we should still take high ground here though, just be safe. Yeah, we don't really need to heal much. Our team's not taking heavy amounts of damage, and our, our Moira is just doing a ton of healing for us. Yeah, go and clean up. And that's the game. Okay. Okay. What do you think of that? Good, good. To be honest, I don't see how you were in gold. Unless this is just, you know, sort of one of those games. Everyone you know, everyone has games where they sort of play and they pop off or it's an easy win. Which is why I suggest when people send in their clips to send in your most probably average game. But I honestly don't really see how you were in gold. Unless it is, you know, as I said, just one of those once in a while games where you're playing off your head. The only really main issue I had there was using your ult usage sometimes, uh, your reaction speeds to your immortality field and not using high ground. As you get the higher ranks, you are gonna wanna be using that high ground a lot more. Using that high ground as Baptiste is very important. It makes, it'll make your job so much easier as Baptiste, getting high ground, shooting down onto your team just makes healing a lot easier. And also just shooting the enemy team makes it a lot easier, makes it a lot easier to accurately throw your immortality field you know you can take high ground where you're still in range to do your burst heal so try it and look for high ground if the enemy team is playing the likes of a hit scan like ash like Cass, like soldier try not to be jumping too much in their range because they will just follow your arc and shoot you and then kind of plan ahead with your ult you don't want to just be throwing it down into any situation like that last one that last one could have gone very very bad we were just lucky we got the kill on that mega if we hadn't got killed on that, that mega things probably could have gone a lot worse for us and it would have been nice to have a baptiste window but yeah that's really all i have to say about it again i don't really see how you're in gold do you no yeah that's what i thought but yeah that's all i have for today's video in general if you did enjoy the video hit that subscribe button it does help out quite a bit and we are pushing for 500 subscribers and we are so close to 400 so go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it does help a bunch isn't that right yes if you want to commission yourself some art or you're a streamer looking for some emotes head over to my vgen it's linked in the description get yourself some tasty tasty art anyone support me on my channel you can cover to my coffee which is also linked in the description but yeah that's all i have to say see you